In today's video, we're going to talk about the best ways for you to get your hands on Shiny Sobel and Inteleon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Inteleon is finally available in the game, and you can get it by participating in the current 7 Star Terror Raid events. The Inteleon event will run from the 28th of April until the 30th for the first phase. Don't worry if you miss it this time around because it will be returning from the 5th of May until the 7th in its second phase of this 7 star terror raid cycle. Now to access this event in your game, once you connect to the internet during the event date period, the 7 star terror raid event will appear in your game. It will look a lot like a 6 star terror raid but it will have the ice type terror symbol. I use this specific annihilate to easily take down on Teleon. If you want a more detailed overview of the build and how to use it in battle, check out this video right here for a step-by-step -step guide on how you can easily beat Inteleon. Also, if you've already defeated Inteleon in-game, let us know in the comments below which Pokemon you use to take it down. Now, after defeating the Inteleon raid, you'll get the chance to catch it in any Pokeball you like. It's important to use the exact Pokeball you want your shiny Sobble in because you won't be able to change it once it's caught. Whatever ball you catch your Inteleon in is the one that will be passed down to all your baby Sobel. Personally, I wanted the shiny Sobel to be in a lure ball, so that's what we used to catch Inteleon after beating the raid. Now, unfortunately, as Pokemon Home connectivity isn't available in Pokemon Scholar and Violet, it means that the only way to get shiny Sobel or Inteleon in game as of recording this video is through breeding. Breeding for a shiny Pokemon typically has odds of 1 in 4096, but you can increase your chances with the Masuda method. For those of you that don't know, the Masuda method involves breeding two Pokemon that come from different language versions of the game. The method increases the odds of hatching a shiny Pokemon to approximately 1 in 682. You can further increase your shiny chances by having the shiny charm, which you can get by completing your Paldea Pokedex. With the Masuda method and the shiny charm, you can increase your odds of hatching a shiny Pokemon to 1 in 512. These are the best odds that you're going to get. To use the Masuda method, you'll need a foreign ditto to breed with your newly caught Inteleon. You can catch a ditto in the West Province Area 3, just east of Madali Town, and once you have one, you can trade with other players online using the universal trade code 4448 4448 to obtain one from another language. Once you have a foreign ditto, put it and Inteleon in your party and attach a Destiny Knot to either of the Pokemon. Since Inteleon comes with 6 perfect IVs when you catch it, it's always a good idea to attach this item and to pass down as many perfect IVs to your baby Pokemon as possible. However, if this isn't something that matters to you, don't worry about the Destiny Knot at all. Next, with your Inteleon and foreign ditto in your party, head to Alfranada Town and visit the restaurant to buy this dish. It will give you the Egg Power Level 2, which increases the amount of eggs produced over time in your picnic basket. Alternatively, you can use this sandwich recipe of 6 noodles and 1 Sweet Herba Mystica to get Egg Power Level 3, the highest egg power you can obtain in the games, which gives you an even better rate at which your eggs are produced and hatched. And just bear in mind that the Egg Power will only last 30 minutes after it's set up. Now, with either Egg Power obtained, set up your picnic with Inteleon and ditto in your party and wait for eggs to spawn in your picnic basket. You can occasionally check the basket, there will be a maximum of 10 eggs at a time in the picnic basket so it's good to just check it regularly and once you do and you collect the egg it will be transferred directly into your boxes. To make sure you're set to a box that's empty that the eggs can be put in it will just make it a lot easier to grab them for hatching later after you're finished. So once you have a box or two of eggs, take down your picnic and make sure you have a flame body ability Pokemon in your party. I use Talonflame, but Pokemon like Carcoal or Lovesta are other really easy to obtain options that can also be used for this method. Having a Pokemon with flame body at the beginning of your party with your eggs will cut down the number of steps required to hatch an egg, so this is a huge time saver, especially on a hunt like this, where you'll likely be hatching a lot of eggs. Next part is very simple, just hatch those eggs. One area I really like to use is Lavincia Town and run around the center circle of the town as there aren't many obstacles here to get in your way. Of course, if you are constantly using the egg power from the restaurant in Alfranada Town, it's probably better to use the areas around 
around this town to hatch your eggs so that you're not using the fast travel points to Lavincia just to hatch your eggs and then head back there after you're all done. Now we got really lucky in our last hunt we did like this for Oshawott, getting the shiny in only 49 eggs. Now this hunt was even more insane. I hatched one box of eggs to start us off and on our seventh egg, which was absolutely insane. I literally still can't believe that we got it in seven eggs. Honestly, I'm like, I'm still in shock. Cannot believe it. Of course, I do have the shiny charm. We are using the Masuda method, so we do have increased odds, but previous hunts that I've done for the Zoroark and things like that have taken so much longer. And for us to have two hunts like this back to back, where we've getting it under 50 eggs each is just absolutely crazy and i know one of the hunts coming up very soon will mean that i'm gonna have to probably go into the thousands just to get the shiny so i'm, I'm definitely gonna take it but this is an amazing hunt for us and makes me able to get this video out a lot quicker as well so very very grateful for it and look shiny sobel looks so adorable as well i love this shiny it's one of my favorites and uh, once you have your shiny sobel you can then level it up to level 35 and it will evolve into Inteleon and it's just such an incredible shiny and uh, one that you definitely want to add to your collection. I know with Pokemon Home compatibility not out yet and it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon, this is probably quite a nice hunt to do in the meantime because it is an exclusive Pokemon that you can only get through the Terror Raids right now in Scarlet and Violet. It is pretty unique and definitely a shiny that you want to have because look at these colors. I think like it's probably one of my favorite shinies that we've got in any of the Pokemon games. I really do love it. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. I hope you found today's video useful. If you are hunting for this shiny Sobble yourselves, good luck with the hunt. Let me know down below if you've got it or how many eggs it took you to get in. And can anyone beat the seven that it took me to get it in today's video? If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.